The World Series hurdle will kick off day two of the penultimate week of the SO7 National Hunt season, and it's a three-mile grade one hurdle for five-year-olds and upwards. The top one is Bill Kennan for Alex Cherry, Bragorn, Graham Clutterbuck, Equator, Paul Rhodes, Hazel Rick Hawker, Darren Thompson, Jumping Jack Flash, Paul Rhodes, La Paz Midnight, Vinnie Gerrard, Living the Moment, David Newley, Portland Mirrored, Vinnie Gerrard, Redwood Edition, David Robertson, Splish Splash, Joshua Sutherland, Sports Visa, James Shea, Time Capsule, Leon Van Rensburg, Yossi Maith, Darren Thompson, Cuddly Cord, Graham Clutterbuck, Initial Legacy, Craig Allen, oh, Connie Ryan, Tamasebi, Raphael and Marlette, Craig Allen, Sauce it up for Ryan Tamasebi, Scorched Earth, Leon Van Rensburg, Sharp Right, David Robertson, Stay Alert, David Hooley, and World on Fire, Joshua Sullivan. So 22 then, facing the starter for the opening race on day two, and away they go. In the shadow of the winning post with two complete circuits of the track to go and live in the moment, as he likes to do, he's been burst out into the lead. To take it up early, flanked by a pair of Paul Rhodes horses as they jump over the first of the 12 flights. So, living the moment in the lead, then the Rhodes pair jumping Jack Flash and Equator second and third. Bit of a gap back to our Connie in fourth. Then Hazel Ring Hawker, the grey down on the rail, looking towards the back sharp right. It's just the early back mockers. They make their way towards the second of the flights, then. And the leading group of three, living the moment, jumping Jack Flash and Equator will lead them into it with Hazel Ring Hawker, the grey on the rail, chasing him fourth. And then Splish Splash and Portland Mirror as they get over the second and they're all safely over that one and settling down nicely into one big group at the moment then and Jumping Jack Flash has taken over the lead so Jumping Jack Flash is in the lead then by about a length to live in the moment second Equator is third and then Hazel Rick Hawker is back in fourth Splish Splash has moved up alongside that one and then comes sourcing up in the red and blue the two shades of green for Portland mirrored with the blue and the yellow cap of scorched earth on the rail next to that one is the second of the Joshua Sutherland horses world on fire wide on the track Alex Cherry's Bell Kennan in those orange sleeves with Graham Clutterbuck's horse just tucked inside him as they get over the next and that was the third and then all safely over that one with one of the fancy runners time capsule the current back marker and out of shot and also our Connie and Raphael and Marlette who are quietly fancied her out of shot as well as two might well be Redwood edition so the two of these they're going to try and come from the back it doesn't seem all that hot and they get over the fourth and there you can see the trailers and the one that's really struggling there seems to be time capture I don't know there's something amiss with that one it might like to come with a bit of a late rattle but it's giving all the others quite a bit of a start and living the moment has regained the lead from Jumping Jack Flash. Equator is happy to sit there in third, then Splish Splash is fourth, sources up and Hazel Rick Hawker together. Portland Mirror just tucked in behind them. Then Scorched Earth and Bell Kennan with Stay Alert, Stable Companion of the Leader just behind them in the purple jacket as they get over number five. And they're all safely over that one, including the back two are oh, Connie and Time Capsule, who oh, are just a little detached from the remainder but living the moment is showing the way home and they're already on their way up the home straight again with one more circuit to go after this they're going to come up now take this next flight and then pass the winning post and living the moment here's a couple of lengths clear of jumping jack flash and equator this one will be the last next time round I believe as they We'll get over it nicely and live in the moments in front from Jumping Jack Flash. It still baffles me every day. This track stands them so far away from the finish. And Equator is third, Hazel Ring Hawker is fourth, then Splish Splash after that. Bell Kinnon is moving up nicely around the outside as they take number seven. And they're all safely over that one as well, then, with the field still all intact. As they race away then now, he's living the moment in the lead. Jumping Jack Flash is second and Equator is third. Hazel Rick Hawker is four and then Bell Kennan five. Splish Splash six and Saucy up seven. Then Portland Mirror is eight and Scorched Earth is nine. Rigorn after that one and then Redwood Edition and Initial Legacy. And then World on Fire, Sharp Right and Stay Alert. And then Yossi Mace after that. Then Raphael and Milet as they take the eighth. With Cuddly Corn and La Paz Midnight towards the rear. And our Connie and Time Capsule after that. So they're racing down towards the final mile now then, uh, living the moment. That's been enjoying himself in the lead pretty much all the way, jumping Jack Flash led for a short while, but living the moment didn't let him do that for long. Equator has been third throughout the race, and Hazel Rick Hawker hasn't been anywhere other than fourth, I don't think, as they come down to the ninth. 
And over that one they go. And they're beginning to bunch now. And the race could start to develop. Especially now as Jumping Jack Flash is being driven up alongside living the moment. Hazel Rick Hawker on the outside has now gone into second. Scorched Earth is also creeping up the inside to make a claim for second as well as they get to the third from home and over that one they go and living the moment is still in the lead but now being strongly pressed by Scorched Earth and appears to be going exceptionally well. Hazel Rick Hawker the Grey has now moved out wide on the track and is going well in third. The two poor road horses are being driven along. Look at this Redwood Edition coming up the inside likes to coin the run doesn't it? Also Raphael and Milet is coming round the outside on its initial Legacy coming around the outside, then Bell Kennan just losing his place a little bit, but they're now racing towards the final two flights. And Scorched Earth has taken it up as living the moment gives way, but immediately initial Legacy comes through to change a Redwood Edition through the middle, and Hazel Rick Hawker almost four in a line over the second last. It's Hazel Rick Hawker who's gone on from Scorched Edition and Redwood Edition. Then initial Legacy World on Fire is trying to run on the leading four, they're racing down towards the final couple of furlongs in the final flight. It's Scorched Earth on the inside, the other three virtually in a line being chased now by. Time capsule who's come through from the back, also trying to run on is Raphael and Milep, and they're racing down towards his final flight now. Scorched Earth is too clear. Scorched Earth clear of Redwood Edition. In third place comes at Hazel Ring Hawker. The one that looks beaten now is Initial Legacy. They come down towards the final flight, and it's Scorched Earth gets over it in the league. Hazel Ring Hawker jumps it well. Here comes Raphael and Milep up the centre of the trap, but it's Scorched Earth racing towards the line, and Scorched Earth takes it from Hazel Ring Hawker. Raphael and Milep third, then Ward on fire, splish bash, Redwood Edition. And all the way back to Cuddly Cord. It was a long way behind the others. And Scorched Earth. Sat quietly behind the leading group for most of the race. And put it to bed between the last two flights. Really Scorched Earth for Leon Van Rensburg the winner. Hazel Ring Hawker for Darren Thompson was second. Raphael Amalet for Craig Allen was third. And Joshua Sutherland took fourth and fifth with World on Fire and Splish Splash.